Well, Preston, two days from right now, this station is going to be in the middle of its first afternoon commute, and it's expected to be very busy with a lot of commuters wanting to take this rail line. Today, we got a better look at how it's going to operate and how police here in Linwood plan to keep everyone safe. Sound Transit expects around 50,000 people a day to use the new Linwood extension of the Link Light Rail, which you can see in this Como 4 drone video. It's exciting because I would prefer not to drive my car yeah. into Seattle, and so this will make it much faster. It looks uh, shiny and new, and I think it's uh, it's an exciting option for people to have just you know, better alternatives for getting to where they need to be. And with the anticipation comes lots of planning for Linwood Police. We're used to seeing a big increase of folks come into the city, um, and so we're, we're prepared for that. Uh, Marin McKay with Linwood PD says officers looked at how light rail extensions impacted other cities on the link line, like Bellevue, which started a transit police unit when the two line opened earlier this year. We've done a lot of data, data collection uh, kind of leading up to this, but and nothing suggests that there's going to be any sort of like increase in violent crime or anything like that. Obviously, when there's a lot more people coming to one area, you're going to get an increase of activity regardless. And they'll get help from Sound Transit Security, which now has doubled the number of transit officers on the system as they try to reassure riders after several high-profile crimes like a hammer attack, stabbings, and a fatal shooting on a train in downtown Seattle earlier this year. Having an uh, enhanced police presence could certainly be helpful to thwart yeah. any of the you know, bigger issues that might, might otherwise happen. Police administrators plan to do a monthly review of calls and incidents at the station and surrounding area and adjust if there are concerns. If after a while it requires a, an increased presence of us in the area, we'll work with Sound Transit uh, to find like appropriate funding for staffing. And there's a lot more involved here than just police. Sound Transit expects to have ambassadors and fare agents and security guards here that are going to be kind of keeping a watch and helping passengers as they figure out this new light rail extension line. Things here expected to get kicked off about midday on Friday. Reporting live from Linwood, Jeremy Harris, Como News.